Today we're doing Lesson 155 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 155, I will step back and let him lead the way. I will step back and let him lead the way. There is a way of living in the world that is not here, although it seems to be. You do not change appearance, though you smile more frequently. Your forehead is serene. Your eyes are quiet. And the ones who walk the world, as you do, recognize their own. Yet those who have not yet perceived the way will recognize you also and believe that you are like them as you were before. The world is an illusion. Those who choose to come to it are seeking for a place where they can be illusions and avoid their own reality. Yet when they find their own reality is even here, then they step back and let it lead the way. What other choice is really theirs to make? To let illusions walk ahead of truth is madness. But to let illusions sink behind the truth and let the truth stand forth as what it is, is merely sanity. This is the simple choice we make today. The mad illusion will remain a while in evidence for those to look upon who choose to come and have not yet rejoiced to find they were mistaken in their choice. They cannot learn directly from the truth because they have denied that it is so. And so they need a teacher who perceives their madness, but who still can look beyond illusion to the simple truth in them. If truth demanded they give up the world, it would appear to them as if it asked the sacrifice of something that is real. Many have chosen to renounce the world while still believing its reality. And they have suffered from a sense of loss and have not been released accordingly. Others have chosen nothing but the world and they have suffered from a sense of loss still deeper which they did not understand. Between these paths, there is another road that leads away from loss of every kind, for sacrifice and deprivation both are quickly left behind. This is the way appointed for you now. You walk this path as others walk, nor do you seem to be distinct from them, although you are indeed. Thus can you serve them while you serve yourself and set their footsteps on the way that God has opened up to you and them through you. Illusion still appears to cling to you that you may reach them, yet it has stepped back. And it is not illusion that they hear you speak of, nor illusion that you bring their eyes to look on and their minds to grasp nor can the truth, which walks ahead of you, speak to them through illusions, for the road leads past illusions now, while on the way you call to them that they may follow you. All roads will lead to this one in the end. For sacrifice and deprivation are paths that lead nowhere, choices for defeat, and aims that will remain impossible. All this steps back as truth comes forth in you to lead your brothers from the ways of death and set them on the way to happiness. Their suffering is but illusion, yet they need a guide to lead them out of it, for they mistake illusion for the truth. Such is salvation's call and nothing more. It asks that you accept the truth and let it go before you, lighting up the path of ransom from illusion. It is not a ransom with a price. There is no cost, but only gain. 
illusion can but seem to hold in chains the Holy Son of God. It is but from illusions he is saved. As they step back, he finds himself again. Walk safely now, yet carefully, because this path is new to you. And you may find that you are tempted still to walk ahead of truth and let illusions be your guide. Your holy brothers have been given you to follow in your footsteps as you walk with certainty of purpose to the truth. It goes before you now that they may see something with which they can identify, something they understand to lead the way. Yet at the journey's ending, there will be no gap, no distance between truth and you. And all illusions walking in the way you traveled will be gone from you as well, with nothing left to keep the truth apart from God's completion, holy as himself. Step back in faith and let the truth lead the way. You know not where you go, but one who knows goes with you. Let him lead you with the rest. Let him lead you with the rest. When dreams are over, time has closed the door on all the things that pass and miracles are purposeless, the Holy Son of God will make no journeys. There will be no wish to be illusion rather than truth. And we step forth towards this as we progress along the way that truth points out to us. This is our final journey, which we make for everyone. We must not lose our way. For as truth goes before us, so it goes before our brothers who will follow us. We walk to God. Pause and reflect on this. Could any way be holier or more deserving of your effort, of your love, and of your full intent? What way could give you more than everything or offer less and still content the Holy Son of God? we walk to God. The truth that walks before us now is one with him and leads us to where he has always been. What way but this could be a path that you would choose instead? Your feet are safely set upon the road that leads the world to God. Look not to ways that seem to lead you elsewhere. Dreams are not a worthy guide for you who are God's son. Forget not he has placed his hand in yours and given you your brothers in his trust that you are worthy of his trust in you. He cannot be deceived. He cannot be deceived. His trust has made your pathway certain and your goal secure. You will not fail your brothers nor yourself. And now he asks but that you think of him a little while each day, that he may speak to you and tell you of his love, reminding you how great his trust, how limitless his love. In your name and his own, which are the same, we practice gladly with this thought today. I will step back and let him lead the way, for I would walk along the road to him. That's lesson 155. I will step back and let him lead the way. If you'd like to read my commentary this year, go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.